I'm Terrence Lee from IndiePub, and this is Mark Tenbosch from. Uh, Where are you from? Uh, originally, yes. France. France, okay. Yeah. And he's here with his game, Miga Cure, um, for IndieCade. Can you tell us about a little bit about your game? Yeah, so it's a puzzle platformer in four dimensions. Okay. Uh, yeah, like we live in a world that's three dimensional. There's width, depth, height. Like, what if there was a fourth one like that that you can move around and explore? Uh, and in this game, you can move around in four dimensions by trading one of the regular dimensions with the fourth dimension. All right. Um, and did you, this game was at the Independent Games Festival yeah. for this year. Um, did you make this game for that specifically, or were you working uh, on it before that? The goal was to eventually submit it to IGF, right? But uh, the first time I showed the game was at the GDC before that, at the experimental gameplay sessions that are organized by John Blow, and yeah. So that's where I revealed it. They didn't have that this year, did they? They didn't have them this year, yeah. Um, so how'd you get the idea for this game? Um, I'm a, originally a programmer, so when you program when you program position in a game, you always have like three numbers, like one, one right. for each dimension. XYZ. And and I thought, well, I could totally make four numbers. Like, what would that be? Like, what kind of game would that actually make? And I didn't make any progress on that until I read this book called Flatland. And right. Flatland talks a lot about like all these effects, like all the cool things that happen. And so once I read that, it was it was obvious. Like, okay, I'm gonna you know make make it yeah make it make a game where you can do all these cool things basically. Have you, with all this 3D technology coming out soon, like the 3DS and the 3D TVs, have you thought about using, since of course right now computers are it's a two dimensional medium, I'm sure doing a four dimensional game on 2D is, probably has a lot of challenges. Have you thought about going 3D and then cutting out one dimension, getting an extra dimension in there? Hmm, it's an interesting question. Um, I think it would help a lot, like just with the 3D, but since when you play the game, it's really a 3D game, Right. when you interact with it, uh, you can't really, like it's difficult to go any, you can't really go beyond that, right? So like, right. 3D would just make the graphics look better, I think. But okay. I haven't thought about it too much, though. So. Okay. Um, what are your future plans for this game? Uh, release it on at least one console and on the PC. Okay. Downloadable format, obviously. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for talking to us. Yeah, sure.